this week, Sylvia has some tips for us. It's um, one that I think we can all benefit from because I think we've all been at the place where I need to study more or how can I improve my studying mm -hmm. or I need to pick up my Bible and study. You know, we somewhere in there, somewhere mm -hmm. you got hit. <laughs> <laughs> so Sylvia's gonna share a couple tips with us about how we can improve in our studying. Uh, tip two, if you want to um, spend more time in your Bible, get better at understanding the Bible, learn your Bible, you're going to have to study it. <laughs> to, and we kind of alluded to that when we let you know it's not through osmosis. And you, osmosis. Yes, that's what it was last time. Osmosis. You're not going to accidentally uh, absorb this information. You actually do need to study this word. However, again, back to the first point, everybody's study is not the same. Sometimes I like to go listen to speakers. Sometimes I will listen to podcasts. Sometimes I will read um, specific um, study guides and Bible plans. I'm actually working on a plan right now, and it is the Bible in chronological order. And so if you're not familiar with the Bible, it's not like page one, day one. It actually is on page one. But, <laughs> but a few pages in, that should have... <laughs> and so it's not happening in sequence mm -hmm. according to the pages you turn it. And so I've decided to study it that way. And it has it's been like... Whew. Really opens your mind up. Yeah, because I thought about yeah. stuff. Some people have group studies. Mm -hmm. And that, they have discussions back and forth with like-minded people. In our church, we have the Young Women's Christian Council. And that's more like life application to the Bible. Mm -hmm. But, you know, youth groups, singles groups, married groups, um, young adult groups. There are many ways to do Bible study. So just know that, you know, it could be a variety of things. And if you feel like you're not learning um, in your church, well, talk to your leaders and see if you can implement some things that help. Me, I'm a reasonably intelligent person, but I'm not an auditory learner. So <laughs> I, I need some diagrams. Can we get a picture over here? <laughs> can we get some reenactments? Uh, you know, some group participation. Break it down. Make it come alive. <laughs> yes, make it come alive. Have some dialogue back and forth. You know, so when someone gets up and speaks and they're just reading to me from the page, I don't necessarily get it. But by engaging in the learning and helping to structure some of the learning, it has helped me learn more in my church. Mm -hmm. So don't just pull away, you know, if it's like not penetrating to you. I don't understand. That's right. usually people's thing. I don't understand what I'm reading. Yes, mm -hmm. but you there are other ways to get it. So just know that yes, you know we have that um, that standard method of thinking that Bible study works. Know that Bible study is the learning of the word, mm -hmm. and you can do it in many ways. Mm -hmm. Some people really love Sunday school and Bible study, and that's how they have learned the word. Um, you well, that is where you learn right the word. Mm -hmm. Well, not only, but you know, that's yeah, the place to that's, that's the point. That's why you have Sunday School and Bible Studies, because mm -hmm. they teach in the Word. If you're at a place where you really don't know where to start and you're not comfortable picking a particular thing to study, go along with what your church is doing at that time. Mm -hmm. If you open your Bible up and you're like, ah, uh, I don't know, study your Sunday School lesson, because mm -hmm. that's a good start. And then you can study it and let the Lord deal with you in it, and then you'll go and you'll be able to have discussion, and you can be a part of it, and the discussion becomes meaningful because I have I have something that I can, impl I can add to the conversation instead of just having to listen to everybody else talk because Sunday morning, if the pastor says something, you can't be like, <laughs> excuse me, pastor, you said, can you break that down? No, but in Sunday school or also whatever you're studying in Bible study, if you find out, um, if you're using a book or if you're doing something else, if you find out what it is that you're going to be studying that week, yep. look into it so that when you arrive, you can participate. Because participation in the study makes a world of a difference. 
And participation isn't just me chiming in. As you were talking, I was thinking about questions. Particip participation is bringing those questions. Mm -hmm. There are so many times I come across something in the Bible and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not like how I live right now and I'm not familiar with this culture this time so I always have questions and so bring those to the group maybe you didn't maybe you read it you're not the only one to have the question Just no go. you're not the only one no somebody you, else thought about it too <laughs> you might have read it front was backwards the King James Version the NIV the Amplified I don't get it <laughs> okay <laughs>some people that you can talk to mm -hmm. sometimes you know I will talk to Kanisha or I will talk to some people in my family and we'll just go back and forth about stuff because you know I, the Bible tells us we don't all know, we don't know the mind of God mm -hmm. you know so we we get to things and we're like uh. <laughs> and then you sit down and you talk like ah oh. uh -huh. yeah <laughs>